there are a lot of breakthroughs that we're quite proud of with this powertrain. One of the biggest things that we point to is by taking a step back and understanding really the pain points of our customers, really in the area around exhaust gas recirculation, EGR, has been something that um, customers to this day kind of vent their frustration and, and voice their concerns over how it has impacted their fleets adversely over the years. And by taking a clean sheet of paper approach, designing an engine to just do what the engine wants to do best is to generate power, not also tasking it with trying to clean up part of the emissions in the cylinder. By decoupling the emissions piece from the power generation piece, we allowed the engine to have a very clean combustion cycle. So that means if we're allowing the engine to do what it does best, we've got to do something somewhere else to control the pollution. And we do that with our dual stage after treatment device. Uh, the first stage is really right out of the turbo, uh, right in this exhaust outlet here. And in that tube, we do our first dose of diesel exhaust fluid or DEF. As it flows through the after treatment device, there is a second stage of dosing that takes place, hence the dual stage after treatment system. The benefits in the after treatment then is that it's got a lot less soot or particulate matter going through it. So we have eliminated the need for active regens. So this, this new powertrain has no active regen capability. There's no switch to override. There's no parking by the side of the road to let um, fuel get dumped into the exhaust system to heat it up to bake out uh, deposits. We have such low soot production inside the engine that we were able to eliminate that cycle. This also allows us, by not having 18 to 20 percent of your exhaust gas recirculated through an EGR system, we're effectively putting 100 percent of the flow of the exhaust into the turbo. So that allows us to have a single fixed geometry, very large turbo. This is the work of a lot of engineers doing some amazing work. And again, that speaks to our belief that we had to overinvest in this powertrain uh, because our customers demand no less. So we worked overtime and extra hard to make sure that we validated this system to work effectively and generate wonderful uptime for our customers here in North America.